let's talk about the drama. Dun, 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 dun. Now we need it. Now we need an intro where I get a little like, dun, 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 and I have like a little uh, magnifying glass, and we get the little the peepo the the peepo G or whatever peppo G or whatever it is. I think I don't think I have that one. I think I have peppo papers, but I don't think I have peppo with the with the magnifying glass. Trans rights, of course, always. Yeah, see, I have peppo papers, but I don't have peppo um peppo glass. I need to get the one with the, the I'll, I'll get that tonight. I'll add Peppo Glass tonight. We are doing Philosophy Tube right now. Yes, we are. We're going to talk about Philosophy Tube. We're going to get to the bottom of this drama. So let's start it. Let's get right into it. Peppo G is Peppo with the paper. Oh yeah, that's right. I, I, I changed it to Peppo paper because it's easier to remember than Peppo G. Philosophy class. Let's do it. Nonpartisan board calls on Trump to begin transition which was retweeted by philosophy tube saying that's a surprise best of luck to the president in her transition hmm you've destroyed the west oh my god how did you destroy the west you've destroyed the west yes Yes, yes, Posadas John, the West has been destroyed. Thank you, thank you. So this tweet, what really is it? What do we think? This joke, let's 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 dissect the joke. Oh, hey cyborg, um, website is busted because of a complicated here. One second. I gotta. I, I know. I'm interrupting my own segment, but it's fine. Just one second. Just come on in. I'll explain to you in a bit, cyborg. Sorry. Sorry about that. Anyway, so this joke. So silent. You think this is a transphobic joke? Hey, cyborg Lucifer. Good to see you. I wasn't super impressed with this joke. I thought, yeah. Trans-related dad joke. You lost the radical left. I mean, this to me is a really cheesy joke. My first reaction to seeing this was to roll my eyes. Um, It was to roll my eyes. I kind of looked at this and just went, what? Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, for, for what it's worth, I have heard a lot of jokes just like this from a lot of people. Um, From a lot of people. I have heard this joke from trans people. I have heard this type of joke from cis people. Luckily, Ollie has done a good job providing me the vocabulary to say he has done a transphobia, but I don't think it makes him transphobic. Do you think that, that, that this is a transphobia? See, my first read of it was that this doesn't come across as transphobic. Um, and the reason why I don't think personally, and of course this is my personal read, um, the reason why I don't think that this is transphobic, personally, is that it doesn't really make trans people the butt of the joke, nor does it really imply that Donald Trump is bad um, for being trans. All it does, in my mind, the joke is, wow, what a surprise. Uh, like, it's, it's, it's literally just a play on the word transition. Um, which is why I said, like, this made me roll my eyes when I first heard it. I was just kind of like, okay, it's just like a silly joke. But I don't really know, like, where people come from with the transphobia thing. And I would like to understand. So we're going to read through, um, some of the comments and find out, like, what some of the arguments are for people who think that it's transphobic. Um, I do think that it's very cheesy. I do think that it's eye roll worthy. I do think that it was a bomb, like the joke bombed. I don't think it's very funny. I don't know why people would find this very funny at all. Like, I just think it's kind of stupid. It's kind of like being like, I'm trying to think of an equivalent. Like, um, I don't know. Some people I have heard, I have seen before I did this segment, I have seen some people um, it's not as badly delivered as a CTV joke. Oh yeah, for sure. But I mean, CTV would make trans people the butt of the joke. 
as opposed to this, which just is a play on the word transition. It's just using the wrong definition of transition to make a joke. As opposed, this isn't really, I don't feel like this joke targets trans people. Now, here's the thing. I have seen, I have seen people s compare this to making um, a, I have seen people compare this to making a gay joke about Donald Trump and Putin. Demon Mama, I, I think that people are possibly upset about Ollie possibly misgendering Trump, since people often misgender, misgender trans, pe trans people. At least that was I was initially thinking of. Okay. It's not his place, like non-Jewish people making jokes about Jewish people. I mean, I can agree with that. I can agree with that. That is, it's in poor taste in that way, Royus. Like, making a joke about, um, but about trans people when you're not trans yourself is, can be problematic. It can be gauche. Not necessarily transphobic. Yeah, I mean, Lindsay Ellis did make a gay Trump-Putin joke, and I do think that those jokes are indeed homophobic, because the joke of, I mean, not severely homophobic, they're just slightly homophobic, because the joke is that, oh, Trump is bad because he's sucking Putin's dick. That's a bad thing. It's bad to suck dick. I do think that there is transphobia in that, but I don't know where the transphobia occurs in this type of joke, outside of perhaps the example that was given above, in that, like, deliberately misgendering Trump for the purpose of a joke is kind of silly. The problem I have with it is it misgenders the president and even misgendering a cis person who is yikes and bad shouldn't be done. Okay, that, see, that's one that I haven't heard. I haven't heard that argument and I think there's cert, a certain argument to be made there. I think there's some truth there. I think that there is an argument. Now, I don't know if that's what most people are arguing, um, but there is one thing I want to talk about. And again, I have not come to any conclusions on this tweet really. Um, I, I have some feelings about it, um, but let me just tell you this. Do you know that Philosophy Tube isn't trans? Do any of you know that? Does anyone here in this chat know if Philosophy Tube is actually trans or not? Quick question, just, just genuine question. Where did he said he was cis? Because I've never seen that. None of us can, right? Well, I mean, I think it's an assumpt it's an assumptive part of being cis, right? I don't think that there's... Maybe it was in a video, but depending on how old the video is. Like, I mean, I've done videos in the past, way long time ago, where I thought I was cis before I knew I was trans. He says he's cis in the queer video. It's like a year old. Okay. Okay. I think that's possible. But how many people, how many people responding to this actually, um, actually know? Like how many people have actually verified that? I look at philosophy tube. I don't, there's not even pronouns in bio here. Philosophy tube. Look at philosophy tubes. Twitter presence. Philosophy Tube just says actor and educational YouTuber. Patreon. Nothing. No cis, trans, no pronouns in bio. Nothing. Oh, okay. Let me take a look at that link real quick. Let's take a look. Okay. Let's take a look. How long ago is this? When, when was this launched? Does anybody know when this was launched? I can't see when it was launched. Episode website? Let's find out. This was from over a year ago. This is from like a year and a half ago. So yeah. Yeah, that's quite a long time ago. And I'm not going to say that like this isn't, you know, a good, you know, this isn't a good evidence. But I highly doubt that most people have actually taken the time to find out whether philosophy tube is trans or not. Also, stealth is a real thing. He said he was bi. Well, but bi is not, bi doesn't have anything to do with cis or trans. I would argue, I mean, listen, I'm not going to like speculate on someone's gender. I will say that all I will say is that I do think that philosophy tube's skin Hair and hair and body have been looking really, really nice lately. Whatever they're doing, it's working great. But I do think that it's a little bit difficult 
to say. How much of this is informed by Ollie not being a transphobe, a thing we easily agree on? Because if I, if a really mainstream comedian were to make the same joke, one who you don't have a solid idea of their political views, how comfortable would you be with it? Well, I don't know. I would probably roll my eyes. I mean, I've seen much worse. I've seen significantly worse from, from, um, from celebrities. But, um, but I don't know. Is estrogen good for the skin? Yeah, I've heard that. Yeah. I've heard it's good for your skin. Um, I think my problem is the same problem I kind of have with the many memes that misgender Ben Shapiro and say he is trans as a joke. Because like I said before, uh, uh, misgendering is an abuse tactic used against anyone. Yeah, that could be. Doesn't the outrage come off as performative? No, I don't think so. I think people... Okay, we're going to get into that part. We're going to get into the reaction afterwards. Well, right now, we're discussing the tweet. We'll get into the reaction afterwards. It took a while for me to feel comfortable making trans jokes even after my egg cracked. This isn't an argument one way or another, but my worry was inadvertently contributing to transphobia while still being seen as cis. I really liked edgy humor and made a lot of trans jokes when I first came out. I was just, I really liked that. We know he's not a transphobe. Let's talk about Vosh unleashing his simps on everyone voicing a critique. We will talk about that. Don't worry. We'll get into that. We will, we will look into that. Regardless of whether he's trans or not, the joke is a play on words, and we all know his intent wasn't mis misgendering someone that he didn't like. But we don't know that. We don't know that for sure. What I can say, though, is I don't think the structure of the joke is inherently transphobic, is what I'm going to say. That's fair, Silent. I also think that's a fair thing. Uh, I, I would say that that's a fair analysis at the very least. But also, I do think that people should be a little careful about uh, alleging that people are cis. You know what I mean? Especially in public. Because, I mean, imagine if you just hadn't come out yet and there were a bunch of people telling you that you're like a, sh like a cis person. That could be pretty hurtful, right? Like, I know that it would be to me as a trans person. Like, if a bunch of people were just calling me cis, I might get, you know, I might get bothered or hurt by that. You know, if somebody else alleged that I was something that I'm not, that's probably not pretty good, right? Because it's not their place. So I do think that there's some problems in some of the critique, which is saying, allegedly, sis, yeah. I mean, but even just doing that would be better because it recognizes that gender isn't clean. We know gender isn't clean. And it wouldn't be great for trans people to engage in that sort of thing, you know, It would be, I think it would be worse, actually, table knife. I think that would be more transphobic in the structure of the joke, just in the structure of the joke. Because then that would be implying that, that within the world of the joke, within the fictional realm of the joke, that the misgendering is happening. I can agree that while, that being swamped with tons of people yelling, shut up, sis, while questioning my gender would have been really harmful. Yeah, there was actually, um, uh, this was years ago now, but I remember pretty vividly a discourse cycle in which um, there was drama about somebody who was allegedly cis, and then they came out via a blog um, because they just wanted people to know that they were in the closet, that they had been high, that they had been stealth. This has happened before. Now, again, we all acknowledge that your identity doesn't make you immune to making mistakes. I just think that people who are critiquing Ollie for this should also be careful to not make too many assumptions. Yeah. I don't know much about Cave Town. I knew I was cis a year ago, but now I have no freaking clue what's up with my gender. Well, you are not alone in that, Schlibbity. I think a decent argument could be made that this joke is trans affirming due to the fact of that the language of the joke implies supportive identities, even the identities of people we don't like. I think that argument could be made as well. Let's put it, th let's put it this way. So the joke is a play on the word transition. And the joke is that Ollie philosophy tube is, in, is misunderstanding what is being said by the headline and is then congratulating this person based on their identity. That doesn't seem transphobic. That actually seems, within the structure of the joke, I agree with you that that does actually seem affirming. However, there is the problem that, you know, Trump isn't 
trans, and therefore the joke is misgendering. But then again, that is kind of what a joke is. A joke is meant to be something that's, you know, a fictionalized situation. The gender adventure. Can I become a Voltron of all genders? Yes, you can. Well, the structure of the joke relies on the idea that Trump is transitioning to a trans woman with she, her pronouns, which also isn't substantiated. True. See, we're doing a deep dive here. This is what I want to do in my drama mama investigations. This is what I want to do. Because I think that this would be really good. So that's a good point. It does make assumptions. There's a lot of assumptions going on here. But at the end of the day, we have to uh, analyze, you know, all joke analysis aside, we have to talk about what's the harm. So before we move on to the reaction, uh, let me see. Agreed. Um, in videos, he says he's cis, but it could have changed. Ultimately, though, I think that his gender identity is kind of irrelevant to whether or not he did a transphobia. Blair White is trans and transphobic as fuck. Agreed. I think that people who are prone to outrage for things like what Ollie's dad joke are spending their time getting upset more at Ollie because he's held to a much, much higher standard than blatant transphobes, which makes sense to me. But I think also that it could come to the added benefit of his audience being more prone to forgiveness and nuance. The reason he's even being held to a higher standard at all is because of his work, which has been trans and non-binary positive. I agree. I do agree with that. I, th I think this is like reverse transphobia because the joke is implying that even Trump, a person they hate, would be supported by even them if they transition. Well, I mean, there's certain truth in that as well. However, however, at the end of the day, all of the joke considerations aside, we have to consider what har what potential harm was done. Okay? So this joke, okay, so with transphobic jokes, the harm is that it marginalizes people further. It stigmatizes them further. We can all agree on that, I think, right? The idea that, like, uh, a racist, a transphobic, a sexist joke, the problem with those jokes is, uh, the problem with those jokes is that they contribute to societal marginalization of those people. They harm those people. Um, now, is that the case with this joke the harm was that i got a face muscle cramp from cringing but that happens all the time we cringe at all kinds of things all the time so that's a little bit maybe maybe zamp honestly if i want if you want my my personal read i think this was just like a spur of the moment i don't think philosophy tube thought about this very much i think philosophy tube just probably was like haha pun based on transitioning bam but transphobic jokes inherently norm. Yes, I agree. They do inherently normalize a stigmatization against trans people and or invalidates their identities. I agree, Jessica Metal. Let me just check in on YouTube real quick. Let me just see. You're digging the drama, Mama? Oh, I appreciate that. This is a, a fascinating deconstruction from a few different points of view. That's my goal. My goal is to take the drama apart and then put it back together again and make sense of it. Um... Yeah, okay, cool. So, um, so let's continue. Just wanted to check in on the YouTube. This is a transphobic joke. Let's take a look at it. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe that is. I don't really know about that one either. We all make mistakes in the heat of passion, Jimbo. I don't see how the joke stigmatizes trans people. I don't see that either. I don't see the joke. I should get in a Sherlock Holmes getup for a drama mama intro like you're a drama detective. Yes, I want to do that. I will do that in the future. In the future, I will do that. No joke. I'll just be like, dun, 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 and we can play it when it's time. I'll play the little intro. It'll be really fun. Argument. Jokes are things that are normally not okay being hit by a fish. Due to that context, are okay. It's on the screen. People are acting as if they're okay. This would not be okay if we thought Ollie was an, ar an asshole. But because we know he's good and transphobic and stuff, contextually we know it's okay, so it's actually funny. But if you don't think the context makes it fine, then it ceases to be funny and is just harmful. If someone hits me with an actual fit fish, I will be upset or at least annoyed. And in this case, we're arguing the validity of the context making it okay or not. This could be understood as a failure of common context. Interesting. There's also an element of taste. I agree. I think that's a really good cut uh, way of analyzing it. Um, if anything, 
Philosophy Tube's joke was taken at face value, supportive of Trump's transition. The punchline is that a, fa a person who is seriously transphobic is trans, which is transitioning, which is ironic. I agree that it's a very lame joke. I, I think it is very lame. I just don't think that it's transphobic, or at least I don't see yet how it's transphobic. Not really, not deeply transphobic. However, if it was, what's the harm that's done by this joke? This particular type of joke. Let's say that it's a little bit misgendery. Has there been significant harm done to Donald Trump? No, that's for sure. We obviously know that Donald Trump is not harmed by this. However, is it possible that it may have harmed other people who are then exposed to a transphobia? Is the joke that Ollie is misunderstanding or is the joke that Trump is being punished by being trans? I think it's the misunderstanding, but I'm not 100% sure. It's very minor exposure. It would be very minor. I agree with that. Third grade reading comprehension does not a Twitter user, does not one Twitter user possess. I mean, that's true to a certain degree. Unless you follow Demon Mama's code and then you have the biggest brain around. Follow the Demon Mama's code. Long one. Oh, boy. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay, that's the, the retweet. The joke is intentionally misleading things as wholesome. Yeah, I think this is a hard one. I, but, I mean, I think it's hard to suss this out, right? I do think that it probably is a little bit... Um, It's probably a little bit much... Oh, overthinky warning. Let's read this. Another possible take on this is that there might be some second order transphobia in having a public figure that's considered cis doing this normalizes people making careless jokes about trans people and transitioning in general. This could make transness more common as the butt of jokes by people who aren't as knowledgeable in their allyship and may spread hard to refute misunderstandings. I think that that is the approach that most critics of this are coming from, Marinara. That, I think, is a really good rundown. And that's how I approached a lot of critics, is that basically a lot of people who were critiquing the joke, who were coming down on Philosophy Tube, were saying, hey, like, this ain't it. Like, you're, like, by making a trans joke as a cis-perceived person with a big platform, you're not helping us. You're actually possibly opening the door to other people who don't know better um, making bad jokes. The humor is in the irony of the wordplay, transition being misused, and Trump being the target. He's a transphobic political, he's ahead of a transphobic political movement. Thus, the irony dichotomy of the statement is the humor. The humor exists in a place that, as far as I can tell, doesn't harm trans people, at least from the joke's perspective. Does it harm them if a Trump supporter saw the joke, got angry, and took it out on trans people IRL, though? That's a stretch, but a possible argument. Yeah, I think it is. I thought it was flippantly dogging on Trump, like he's a bigot or ironically funny. It's dad tier. I do agree that it's a dad joke. It's a, it's a lame joke. Spur to spur. Guys, I think the left has gone too far this time. No, nah, I don't think so. The thing is, here's the cool thing. This right here, what we're doing right now. Oh, true, Kasky. By the way, Kasky, we're on the Discord chatting tonight and on YouTube. Uh, thank you for the for the congratulations. There we go. Only in Demon Mama's stream can we argue about the philosophy of humor. Well, I think it's a cool thing. Here's the thing. Ready? I'm going to have the hot take of the night. Hot take of the night. I think it's cool that even though it's a little lefty infighting and some people definitely get out of hand with it, I think that it's cool that the left can have conversations like this because the right does not have conversations like this. I could tell you. I can tell you for sure that the right does not have conversations like this, ever. They don't ever talk about this. They never try to understand the joke. They never understand the mechanics of a joke. They never understand the intent or the morality. Also, I feel really uncomfortable seeing someone who has seriously threatened my well-being and the well-being of most people most important to me being associated with us. Like, how much trans blood does Trump have on his hands right now? It feels terrible seeing him called trans. But silent at the same time, what if he was? What if Trump was trans? That would be terrible, right? But at the same time, it's a fact of the matter. A lot of people use that same sort of justification to justify transphobia towards Caitlyn Jenner. A lot of trans people refuse to acknowledge Caitlyn Jenner's 
transness because Caitlyn Jenner was also a bigot. A lot of trans people would also refuse to acknowledge um, Blair White's gender and transness because she's a bigot. So I wonder if that if even though there are like, I think it's okay for us to acknowledge that there are bad trans people. There are trans people who do bad things and that doesn't change that they're trans. I think that might be something to, um, it still doesn't feel think great to think about. I agree. And that's part of the thing in the end of the, at the end of the day, I don't think there's a lot of harm being done by this joke, but I do think that it's a lame joke and it probably didn't really have a great amount of fun or utility involved. And as a pop, as a content creator with the privilege of a large platform, you know, Be, you're bigooting. Of course, there are bad trans people, but all here was talking was taking that concept and making a joke of it, though it feels unintentional. That's fair. I think I can see what you're saying there. Content for the content gods. True. True. This is what we're doing. Um. It's worth being discussing. Yeah, I think it is worth being discussing. Now, I, this feels the same way as joking about Mike Pence being gay. Like, I feel it's possible Pence is gay and was abused by his parents in whatever religious cult he's from, and joking about it makes me feel sick. That's also fair. Like, I think there is something bad. Like, there is something very uncomfortable about joking about how somebody can experience severe repression and become something that they're not or, or live. Can we all agree that Ollie pulled a cis white oopsie? Yeah, I think so. I think that's agreeable. I think that at least as far as we can tell, this does come off as a very cheesy, like low effort, low hanging fruit, goofy ass joke. Now though, so we've come to that conclusion. I think we can conclude that it's a, you know, it, there's some problems with it, but, um, but it's maybe not the worst thing in the world. It's probably, you know, at worst, a cheesy joke. So now we have another part we need to move into. Part two of our investigation of the drama mama investigation. Um, part two of the drama mama investigation is the reaction. Let's look at the reaction and let's find out what everybody has to say. Okay. Because I want to see, because everybody's had a lot of takes about this. So let's see what we've got to talk about it. Let's react to the reaction. Well, we're not going to just react. We're going to analyze it. We're going to analyze the reaction. Oof, burb. I hope you're all right. Nuj, Nuj. I don't know how to say your name. Nuj. Nuj. Let's go. Jesus Christ, what the fuck happened here? A lot of deleted tweets. That's a little strange. A lot of deleted tweets. Jesus Christ, what the fuck happened here? I genuinely don't get the people screaming transphobia. The joke seemed more to be poking fun at the, how the headline could be read. God, some people are just overly sensitive. Hmm. I just found out about this thanks to Vosh's video on it. I honestly don't think people are getting the wordplay in effect here. There's no direct insult levied in the original tweet. Okay, that's what we talked about. Surreal humor that did not resonate with the audience for reasons that were apparent and predictable, but tragically unforeseen. Yeah, this is kind of true right here. This is kind of true right here. Surreal humor that did not resonate with the audience for reasons that were apparent and or predictable, but tragically unforeseen. True. Maybe not surreal humor part, but humor that did not resonate with the audience for reasons that were apparent or predictable. This is true. <laughs> this one's going to get my fave. This is about the most accurate way of analyzing it. Oh, you made a cute thing? Okay, I'll take a look at it. This is a pretty good take. People discovering wor wordplay for the first time, I imagine. Legit, rational disconnect made this joke, and I don't even think he got this much pushback and visceral hatred like Ollie did. I think the joke is lame is on par with haha, -ha, Putin is secretly gay, lol. So I get where folk are coming from. Okay, okay. The joke is funny because we know the person making the joke isn't transphobic. If it was just some Twitter boy or if they had a rocky history with making transphobic statements, I'd be suspicious. So far, these are all in favor of the joke. Poor joke literacy. Yeah, okay, that's fair. That's kind of fair. 
Oh, yeah. I've heard this joke many times before. I've heard this joke a hundred times. I don't know who made it. Corviday deleted their tweets after the Vosh video, likely to try and avoid getting swarmed with Vosh Stan replies. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe it did. Philosophy tube is canceled. Crab, crab rave. I, I don't think this is fair. I don't think Corviday is hella toxic, actually. I disagree with that analysis. I think Corviday is um not toxic, actually. Corviday is like the opposite of toxic, usually. At least in my experience. It's a shitty joke. No one is canceling Ollie, though. We're giving them the benefit of the doubt. Okay. Let's go see what other responses were. We've seen some of the responses to the responses. Let's go find out what some of these are. The next Caitlyn Jenner. Hmm. Trump is transit. See, now this is transphobic right here. I disagree, uh, Jessica. I think Corviday had a good conversation with Zan, actually, all, all things considered. I think Zan, I think Corviday, I watched Corviday and Zan's debate, like, all together, uh, like, like, live. I watched that live. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. Let's take a look. The people upset over this joke are fucking wild. So sick of cis people being offended on my behalf over nothing. I mean, I don't know. So far, we haven't even seen anybody upset with the joke. So far, we haven't seen... Eh, 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 like, we haven't seen anybody be even being upset about the joke. We've only seen defense of the joke so far. Which is a little weird. This seems like I've never, we haven't even seen anybody upset. Silence, sis. Okay, this is pretty mild. Whatever. That was a criticism from Vosh, though. Wait, I've, I, I saw that cottage core lefty, but that's the thing. That wasn't the main conflict. That wasn't the main conflict. In fact, as far as I know, um, as far as I know, um, Z like, I mean, actually, I know for a fact, um, that Zan and Corviday agreed to not talk about the harem thing. Anyway. Here we go. BRB gonna go bash my fucking head into the wall okay this is kind of silly you know i mean this is like nothing this is i don't feel like this is an overreaction it's just a little meme we can talk about that after if you want to yeah Cor corviday both corviday and chud logic said they agreed beforehand listen we'll talk about that after this joke just really demonstrates that to allies, trans people will always only ever be props. I don't know if I'm more disgusting with this tweet or the cis people in the replies speaking over upset trans people. Now, this seems like a pretty severe response right here. This is the first severe response that we've seen. That's one. Um... So I would say this is relatively severe. Can we agree that like saying this joke really demonstrates that to allies, trans people will only ever be props. Do we think that's a fair and a fair thing to levy at philosophy tube in, re re in return for this joke? Does that feel fair? I feel like I should ask some people, um, you know, I don't want to be biased here. Um, Silent, you you didn't really like the joke. If you're comfortable, would you share your opinion? Do you feel like this is a fair a fair comment to levy at Philosophy Tube or no? Okay, we got a lot of people who don't think it's fair. I don't think this is very fair personally. But I don't I want to be as as as, you know, just as possible. Not fair? Okay. We got a lot of not fairs. Okay. Hmm. Here we go. Ollie, no. That's not so bad. You know, Lottie Blix, they're, they're a pretty big creator. And that's just Ollie, no. That's fine. This is nothing. This is nothing. This isn't a bad reaction. They only had the one joke and you still felt the need to see steal it? That's not the one joke. That's not the joke. This is a joke only found funny by transphobic people. What does that say about the joke? 
Hmm. I don't know about that. Is that true? I'm trans and this is hilarious. The circumstance of my birth leave me no particular obligation to be perpetually dour. Yeah, that's not the one joke. That's not the one joke. The one joke is the helicopter thing. Yeah, it's not the same thing. To be honest, if I was known for using trans people in his videos to try and boost his reach or something for more subs, then we could say he could use them as props. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, I agree. I feel like that's a little over the top. I could be wrong. This joke is only found funny by transphobic people. What does that say about the joke? Well, I mean, again, I don't know how you would ev how, where's the evidence of that, right? Not in a vacuum, but I've been mutuals with her for a while, and she's speaking based on history of being, say, disenchanted with notable cis bread tube allies. Okay. Okay, that's fine. I see. The one punishment I'd wish on Trump is that he experiences all of the suffering he's caused other people. I know it's not nice or rational or conducive to growth, but sometimes I don't care. Now, this feels a little, a little transphobic because it's saying that, like, transition is a punishment. Being trans is a punishment. That's a bit much. That's a little much. But this is, again, this is, in fa this is one of the responses in favor to the joke. Hmm. Why are people mad? Why are people overthinking a dumb joke? Well, because I mean, we're doing that. Katie is pretty solid. I don't know much about Katie. Delete this, smiley face. Oof size beyond measure. <laughs> Not that I imagine you'll listen to anyone, but don't do this. This isn't very severe, in my opinion. Okay. That's fair, Rebecca. I think I, we talked about that one just a little bit ago. I think that that's a fair um, analysis. This just seems horribly played out rather than transphobic. Ollie could have made a much better po poke at Trump. So far, we haven't seen anybody actually... We've only seen one person actually alleging transphobia. One. We've only seen one person. I think I tweeted a response that I'm trans and I found the joke funny to the response to the one joke comment. Oh, okay. Corvide was similarly super milk toast. Has anyone suggested a better joke? I don't know. It would be funny if the next philosophy tube video was a par parody of the why I left the left videos challenging the narrative that left is mean humorless. Um, okay. Uh, I don't know what this means. As a cis person who is also a very public figure, I'd hoped you would have the foresight to consider how dangerous it is to make this kind of joke publicly, especially with the position that trans people are currently facing in the United States and the UK, for that matter. I hope you will take the time to consider your effect your actions may have, as well as how uncomfortable and horrified some of the trans members of your audience are, and that is, and the, and why that is, Mr. Thorne. We don't know what's going on in all these DMs, but in the open replies, it looks more like good faith criticism than a hate mob. Yeah, so far we haven't seen anything. Thought. The general narrative re revolving around transition has a cis-centric assumption that cis people are their genders while trans- This is a little bit deep, I don't really know. Maybe let's not joke about one of the most transphobic presidents in recent memory being trans. So this is one of the other ones we came up in the first half. You think people deleted tweets because they were spam replying? People were spam replying in, in Vosh's video? Oh, that's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. I've seen a lot of trans people make this joke, but this doesn't really feel appropriate for a cis person to tweet. You're being your dad right now, Ollie. Maybe rewatch your own video about transphobia, then delete this. So this one's technically an allegation of transphobia. So we've seen two so far. How many replies are there? Out of these replies, there are one, there are holy shit. How many, wait, how do you see how many comments there are? How do you see how many comments there are? You can't even, can you not? How do we do that? How do we see how many, holy shit. 1K retweets, 601 quote tweets. Maybe. Well, the thing is, if people deleted it, I want their things to be gone. They have a right to delete their content. I'm three days late, but I found out this joke is trans, that people think this joke is transphobic. Okay. Question for trans mutuals. Do you find this joke and jokes like it transphobic? Let's see. No, 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 no. Okay. Ten, top 10 tweets posted straight before disaster. True. I'm in, just anticipating a funny ass apology. Motherfuckers can't even make dad jokes anymore. Now see, this is the opposite. This is like saying trans people are overreacting. 
Vosh's community has woke so scold trauma. Oh, come on. Don't be so fragile. VG Jeers, you are stronger than this. I know you are. I know you're stronger than this. The woke... Listen. Are there people who fit the description of a woke scold? Yes. But my goodness, there's not that many of them. Be strong. Realize that if you're going to be the debatey ones, get over it. The woke scolds can't hurt you. They literally won't. I promise I didn't discourse on Twitter. Good. Good. Do not discourse. Rule number one. You're just owning up to it. Hey, that's fair. And I appreciate you for that. Appreciate that, Sam. Really do. Joke was funny, but too soon. Granted, I love bad puns. Okay, that's fair. There were definitely transphobe accusations in the Vosh video. I was panicking because it hadn't been deleted in a 12-hour period. Okay, well, let's keep looking. Let's keep looking. Let's keep digging. We'll dig a little longer. That feel when you think being friends with trans people entitles you to make jokes at our expense. Okay, this one is technically... This one's kind of alleging... Um, Oh no, oh no, Flare Games. I don't know if you saw the Discord screen caps, but I was kind of disappointed, not gonna lie. I haven't seen them yet. If you have a link to that, Windleby, I would like to go over it. Gina, yeah, we're talking about the Ollie drama. Um, Gina, we're doing a new segment called Drama Mama Investigates. Um, yeah, so. What a fucking shit show of replies for one of the tamest puns I've ever seen in my life. Sometimes I question associating myself with the left. Now, this is just stupid. This is just dumb. This is a, now this I would say is an overreaction. C my goodness, we haven't seen anything. We haven't seen anything of people saying actually mad. Really, what if every time you did the first three, three to the tweet of the day, you remind everyone the rules of D and D? I could, I could. It's a good idea. Drama Mama investigates. That's what we're doing. That this is a hella overreaction. My goodness, I'm gonna leave the left because some people got mad at a, at a pun slightly. This is, okay, you weren't a part of the left. My goodness, that's stupid. The people upset over this joke are fucking wild. So sick of cis people being offended on my behalf over nothing. Um, There are plenty of trans people set in the comments. They're acting like cis people. Okay, this is silly. This is kind of silly. This is not worth all the drama this has incurred. I will agree with you, Windleby. It's true. I agree. It, I don't think that it's worth the drama, but that's why we're doing the investigation. Oh, you made dinner? Uh, I was planning on going for like at least another hour or so, maybe. Windleby, that's you. Uh, can I have it? Can I come get a plate of dinner and then I can eat it while we do the investigation? Oh, thank you. Let's take a look. Here we go. Ah, the Jack Saint. Okay, here we go. Hey, large fan bases brigading the accounts of marginalized people with or without creator consent is very much a thing that happens. And in general, accusing somebody of being mentally ill and a plant for having those concerns is a really terrible way for a community to respond. Is Vosh's fan base really this scary? Deleted my replies to the Trump transition tweet. I'm sorry, I still stand behind what I said, but a video about it is now almost at 100k views. It's not safe. I'm blocking anyone who replies to this with the name of the person who made the video or anyone who's, who tags them. Um, you've been warned. So, Corviday is specifically not identifying who did it. Um, and they're crazy. Who is Corviday? Their name faintly rings a bell. Not really from mem from remember. All I remember is that Xander Hall had a debate. Jesus fucking Christ. Is Vosh's, is Vosh's fan base really this scary? We are to, we are to be feared. Corviday, Corviday just likes stirring drama. These people are delusional. Do they think Vosh is a mob boss who will send his goons to beat people up? Now, this is really shitty. If I see you all... Okay, wait. I got to move the chat for a second. Let me move the chat. Okay, this right here. This right here. This will get you banned from my Discord. So don't you do this. You hear me? Don't you fucking do this shit right here that will get you banned from my discord so don't do that shit i don't know i haven't seen anyone using this as a method to silence trans people i for one think cis people are allowed to talk about this stuff without getting shut down immediately i don't think there's any evidence that that ollie was shut down immediately um the last person seems like an obvious plant okay this is one person so 
Like, do we want to rerun the entire conversation from 2018 about responsible platforms and community behavior? Can we cool it with being so constantly dismissive of everyone who's scared of 20, 250,000 people being sent after them? True. Oh, I, I don't agree with the alleg the alleging that, that, um, that there's stirring up more drama. Yeah, I agree. All right, chat's back. Chat's back. Cis straight people who get offended by trans or homophobic jokes remind me of overprotective but wholesome parents. Okay, that's fair. What happened in 2018? Um, I don't know exactly what that's a reference to. We're back. Yeah, you're back. Uh, delusion is really harsh. No, that's really bad. Um, calling. Listen, here's a, here's a hint. For everyone in my chat who isn't trans, don't call trans people fucking delusional. Don't do it. Don't fucking do it. Just so you know, that specific word has been literally weaponized against trans people for generations. Don't fucking do it. It is, that is actually offensive. Don't fucking do it. Just don't. And if I see you do it, I will be mean to you. I will come down on you for that. And you can call me a delusional blue haired trans woman if you want to. But don't do that. Don't fucking do that. It's bad. It's really fucking bad. And yes, it is important to not use that type of language and to be careful. And if somebody gets mad at you, wait, oh, I'm going to get green hair again in the future or purple probably next. I used to have green hair, but it's turned blonde over time. I will for sure. I just need, it's got to, we got to get out of the, uh, yeah. So don't do that. Don't do that thing. Anyway, let's continue. Let's continue. Yeah, that's true. Well, we'll get to that. We'll get to that part. Rainbow, maybe. That'd be a lot of work, though. That's so much work. It's probably too much work for me, but maybe I'll do it. It's a lot of work. Yeah, dying is a lot of work. I, I didn't want to undertake another dying project in the middle of um, of COVID. I'm trying to think of a way to jokingly reclaim it, but as a workingly wor worthless word, it's not. I don't think it's possible with that one. Watch you do rainbow hair and Peacecraft starts bringing up. Uh, oh, yeah. I know what you're talking about. The, um, uh, what's it called? The warning colors. Yeah. Why is Vosh getting criticized? Vosh isn't getting criticized, actually. We'll see. We'll see. Watch. I'll show you. Um, anybody who sees cancel culture as a sincere threat should turn around and act like it's not a real concern to have so many people sent after you that you have your voice essentially taken from you over a small disagreement. I literally explain what the issue is with this behavior in the first tweet of this thread and in general what's the problem here replies are getting the block. So if somehow you genuinely aren't sea lioning, I'd, I'd keep quiet on this one. Just to clarify, at no point did I reference a brigade calling someone a mentally ill CIA plant because they're worried about the followers of a 250k plus subscriber account publicly attacking them is good enough for me to call this a bad thing. And in fact, lower below, somewhere in here, Jack Saint specifically says, hold on, let's see here. I can't tell, hold on. There was a comment. I remember reading one of these comments earlier. I like, listen, I like Jack Saint. I think Jack Saint's good. I really don't want to get blocked by my favorite content creators, so when I say this, I am being genuinely ignorant. I cannot wrap my head around why this is Vosh's fault, past him, past him just not speaking about current left online issues. While I do think moments like these are a good time to reassess your community, at no point have I ever made this Vosh's fault. And that was a very deliberate choice. Pointless drama is stupid. I want issues to be acknowledged. Hey. See? Based. This is a based response right here. I actually liked this one. This is one of the ones that I saw earlier. I'll be honest. Um, I did see this one earlier and I liked it. This tweet jungle is exactly why you don't discourse on Twitter. True. Yes. This is in action. You are witnessing why we don't discourse on Twitter in action. See how hard it was to find this one response because it breaks 150 different threads. Anyway, Twitter is a busted site for conversation. See, listen, I know for a fact 
that that Jack Saint means it when 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 he says this. When he says that he doesn't think it's Vosh's fault and rather that we should just be aware of our communities, I think he's right about that. I think he's correct about that. I think he's being honest. Okay. So, now we have to do something else. Now, do you not think it's weird to take screenshots of a Discord server and put them on Twitter rather than addressing individual concerns in the server itself? Um, yeah, maybe. But I think that it can be used as a greater point. However, I do think that Jack Saint unintentionally broke his own rule because he didn't censor those names. He posted those names. Those people could now become targets of his own fan base, which would be kind of bad, right? So the point here is we should be responsible. If we're going to talk about people in aggressive ways, which I don't think I'm doing here. I don't think I'm going aggressive on anybody. Um, what's interesting about Twitter is you can easily approve of a tweet by liking it or retweeting it, but to show disapproval, you have to reply to it. Yes, true. Having 250 um, followers is like having a four-foot beepus. It's not like you meant to knock over everything at waist high in the house, but you need to be careful while turning around. True. Yes, agreed. Do you think that vocal discourse is the best best method of discourse? Um, sometimes. Most of the time, yeah. Most of the time, yeah. I think if you actually have a conversation with somebody, you'll make a lot more progress. Oh, hey, good night. Good night, large space or large face. Yeah, having, um, having discourse, um is best when you can actually talk with a person and not get lost in this me in the mess of Twitter. Twitter is a mess. I promise you. If you don't believe me, if you don't believe me that Twitch that uh that Twitter is a mess, um if you don't believe me that Twitter is a mess, just try finding something on Twitter that you didn't reply to or retweet 5 minutes after it's gone. Once it's off your wall, if you don't remember exactly who tweeted it, you will never find it again. You will never find it again. That's how bad Twitter is uh, in, in that way. For, for conversations. It's good for certain things, but it's not good for conversations. You will lose everything on Twitter. It's a mess. It's a horrible mess. Whew. So. We've got one last piece of this drama. Don't we? Don't we? Online conversations miss out on a lot of nuance and nonverbal cues that can inform the interaction as well. I agree. I tend to find Discord screenshots suspect because it's super easy to fake since you can change the HTML in all browsers and it will only show on the faker side. Maybe, but I but the thing is, like, there's we don't have any reason to assume that it was fake. That's that, in my opinion, is 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 going too far. I would never say that like I, I think that that would be ridiculous um to accuse jack saint of potentially faking i do agree that you should be skeptical of discord screenshots but i don't think that there's any evidence that that would be the case i think it's pretty fair to say okay yeah probably some people had bad response responses that said we don't know what the rest of the context was however jack saint is correct in saying that why on earth would you make fun of corviday for deciding that they didn't want to be involved in that type of discourse because that seems kind of counterintuitive, right? If you're like, our our community isn't bad. But you're dumb because you deleted your tweets because you didn't even want to you didn't want to risk running into us. So there's a lot there's a lot going on here. I think Twitter is only a good platform in the literal design sense. Hmm. Zamp. Did we cover the Vosh drama? I went out to get food. We're not quite there yet. We're still in, in PT. We are about to watch. I think we can watch Vosh's video on this. I think it was, um, it's watchable on stream, right? How long is it? Let's take a look. Let's watch. Let's take a look. 15 minutes. All right, we're going to watch it. Ready? This is a treat. I have never reacted to Vosh content on stream before. Oh, actually, I, no, I haven't. I've never done it. I'm not on Twitch. Don't worry. I'm on YouTube. I'm not on Twitch. We're going to watch Vosh's response and we're going to talk about it. Okay? Trans woman reacts to Vosh's reaction to trans people reacting 
to philosophy tube. And this is why we call it Demon Mama Drama Mama Investigates. Because this is definitely in the drama category. I'm reacting to a reaction to reactions, which was a reaction originally to an article. But let's have fun with it, okay? Let's have fun. To the best of our ability. Let's look into it. I've never been able to do this before, so this is fun. I've never done this before. Okay. I know that for the people who I want to listen to this, I'm the last person they're going to listen to, but I really want to talk about it anyway. Who here knows about a channel called Philosophy Tube? All right, so here's the problem. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. On by Ollie, he makes good videos. Yeah. Yeah, I know you all know. It was rhetorical, dipshits. Anyway, um, the New York Post tweeted this out. Nonpartisan board calls on Trump to begin transition. I've not and seen this video, trans, by the way. Which, like, a third of the people watching right now are. You True! already know what joke naturally comes from this. You know, as, as easily as two follows one and B follows A, you know exactly what joke is about to be made. And Ollie made it. Go back. That's a surprise. That's my British voice. Best of luck to the president and her trans. <laughs> oh my god, Vosh. That's such a bad British accent. Oh, fuck. Transition. Get it? Get, get it? Because the transition being referred to by Jesus the New York Post Christ. is... Hello, governor! That's a surprise! Best of luck to the president in a transition, eh? Oh, I'm a dog, I'm Horty dorty. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like transitioning from one presidential administration to the other? And in this one, they, yeah, okay, you get it. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Am I doing Dick Van Dyke? I don't know. I was just doing whatever. <laughs> oh, my God. Hinga dinga durkin. Sounded Dick Van Dyke. There we go. Anyway, There's some good uh, accents out there. Hello, me. YouTube. Jesus Christ, what the fuck? Hello, YouTube. And welcome to another segment of Chud Logic. It is Tuesday, and I have decided to talk about Tim Poo. I'm not quite there yet. I want to get a good. I want to get good at the at the uh, at the Chud Logic impersonation. Let's continue. Fuck happened here. Anyway, this tweet kind of blew up, like sixteen thousand likes, whatever. But. Um, if you actually look at the comments, they are, like, overwhelmingly negative. Kind of cringe, bro. This is fine. True. This isn't funny. Sincerely a trans person. And then the retort, I thought it was funny and I'm a trans person. This is a joke only found funny by transphobic people. Okay, so what this is all the stuff we've the looked joke? at. Um... Because of how things have unfolded over the past year, trans people expressing this tweet isn't cool are already being dismissed as the woke scold cancel culture Twitter mob. So predictable. Yeah, the people who I want to watch this video aren't going to take any advice from me, so... Uh... Oh, oops. Uh... Transphobe is trans is not a joke cis people should make. You're a good ally, but this ain't it. Let's not joke about this. This is not a good joke. Please actually delete. It's been 12 hours. Why isn't this deleted? It goes on for a very long time. Like a very, very long time. I read through the whole thing. Um, yeah, sorry. Yeah, if you guys want to stop watching right now, this is your invitation True. too because... Big space. Oh, God. Big face. Okay, so let's talk about this. Be very sensitive, okay? As a cis person... Please recognize that all my perspectives have been influenced by my lived experience as a cis person, which means I didn't have to grow up with people questioning my gender identity. And <sighs> so, um, a cup, a couple of things. Wash. Wash. Wash.
Look, all I'm saying, all I'm saying is that, all I'm saying is that if your critique is that people are overreacting and then your reaction to the overreaction is to ham up this sort of like, I apologize for being cis. You're kind of doing the exact same thing that you're getting mad at other people, aren't you? Aren't you kind of doing the same thing though? Aren't you? Aren't you? Aren't you kind of doing the same thing that you're getting mad at people about? Let's listen to the rest of the video, though. That was that was a tiny bit cringe, honestly. That was just a little cringe. Yes. No Twitter discourse. True. Never do discourse on Twitter. You will regret it. Do it instead via video. Oh, wait, listen. You're not bad at being trans because something doesn't upset you. People are just different. And the goal, remember, hold on. The goal here is to try and understand all sides of this conflict and rule out what the best, you know, like, like rule out or, or come to better conclusions. That's what the, that's what the drama mama investigation is all about. The goal is not to determine who's a good or bad trans or say anybody's bad for reacting any specific way. The goal is to, you're good, you're good, don't worry. The goal is to come to the truth. Is not, not not even the truth. It's just to understand everybody's sides. So let's get in here. Okay. First of all, I think a lot of people don't understand the difference between harm and offense. So let's say for for a, for a minute. Okay. I've been given the trans pass. I can talk about this. All right. Thank you. I hate let's that say joke. For a, I fucking hate that joke. I hate that joke so much. I fucking, I fucking hate that joke. <laughs> oh, I hate that joke. I hate, and I, you know what? This one, I'm aiming at you. My fellow trans people, I'm aiming at you. That's right. If you give people the trans pass, you are cringe. You are motherfucking cringe if you hand out quote-unquote trans passes. Nothing makes you sound more like an insecure baby trans than handing out a quote-unquote trans pass to random cis people. Please, for the love of God. Please, for the love of God. Don't do that. It is so bad. It's so fucking cringe. Just don't do it. Please. Well, okay, I'm I'm pointing the gun. It's an imaginary gun, so you can just imagine something else there. There isn't one, Devious Chillster. It's a joke. Well, yeah, that's why it's drama. I've put the gun down. It's gone. It's gone. The gun is gone. Put the gun down. Put the imaginary gun down. Hey, there you go. That's And that's fine, Tech Debt. That's what my job is. My job is to try to make it make sense to everybody else. I am a digester. I am a reactor. A react NB right now. Let's continue. I, I hate that joke, though. So, yeah. A minute, okay? You're a trans person. Oh. Hold on one second. There we go. Let's continue. Sorry. Let's continue. And you see an insensitive joke. Oh, one moment. One moment. Yes, come in. Food, pog, food, pog. Uh, my partner just made mushroom pie, which sounds amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Mushroom pie, amazing. See, I told you I was doing a good effort to, to move my diet more um, vegetarian, more vegan. 
And now we have delicious and wonderful pie. And I'm going to eat some while we watch this. Because why not, right? Let's do it. Let's continue. It feels, it feels like it's still hot, so we're going to wait a few seconds. Let's continue. Being made by a friend. Yeah, and a Not cook. like bigoted. Not like trans people aren't valid or whatever, you know, whatever. Not No helicopter jokes. Um, but just like a joke that maybe rubs you the wrong way. Like it's kind of cringe or whatever, you know? To immediately jump to the assumption that this is both A, transphobic, and B, indicative of some kind of broader social harm is very weird to me. Okay. Let's react to this real quick. Pause Andy. Let's react to this real quick. So, first of all, many of the people, pause it. Many of the people in that thread, as we know, did not actually jump directly to transphobia. They didn't. They just said it was a shitty joke. Just saying. And secondly, I think that something that perhaps Vosh might overlook a little bit in this section is the fact that trans people are constantly under artillery barrage from transphobia from large accounts. So having someone who you trust, who you perhaps lower your guard to, um, even come close to it can be really upsetting. So I'm just saying. I'm just saying that... Um, I, I think that it is, like, understandable why a lot of trans people are sort of primed to react negatively to certain types of jokes. Because the fact of the matter is it is objectively true. You all know this. All of my mods know this. That trans people are perpetually subjected to a constant bombardment of transphobic hatred. So, when you trust a creator, or when you trust someone, it's it's much more believable that people could feel betrayed by somebody that they trusted, especially if that person self-identifies as an ally. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's fair. That's fair, Royce. Listen, the good news is, one of the good news is that I understand is that I know for a fact that Vosh is tough, and capable of taking critique. So we don't got to worry about it. So yeah. Yeah. So you see where I'm coming from with that though. Yeah. Like the, I'm glad some people understand where I'm coming from. I know this because, um, yeah, he's big boy, big boy. That's why my wife and I live in a fortress that's over fortified with firearms and food. Good idea. That's a great idea. Um, which is the possible harm, yeah. What this stream has done for me is getting me to kind of try and see the alternative perspectives. That's my goal. That's so, oh, that's so affirming. That's so validating, Jessica. My goal is to do just that. It's to do just that. That is my goal with these segments. So I appreciate you letting me know that because that's what I want to do. Let's continue. Of course it's easy, but that's the thing. It's easy to get married to anybody who's influential to you. Yeah. Well, okay. It is true, Gayfesh. He did have a harder time with it, but specifically via Twitter. And I understand that because we know I made a code about Twitter. I think watching both this stream and Vosh's is really cool because Vosh associated heavily with Ollie and this is giving me some new perspectives. Yeah, that's my goal. That's my goal. That's why me screaming blue haired SJW demon mama is here to offer an additional take. Let's continue. Let's continue. I understand I will try some food. that offense isn't inherently an invalid like criticism to make of jokes that you don't like. Like if you're offended by something, that's not nothing, you know. It's not an argument against it's another. It's so argument, fucking good, but it's something. Like this is so fucking I don't good. like being offended by my friends, you know. Well, like when I like when I'm with my friends and they make jokes about how tall and handsome mm -hmm. and muscular and strong I am. This you know, part like is so I, good. You know, they're always joking about Frost it. Like, like, God. Yeah, guys, wait a second. Get it, I'm great, you know, but get... wait it. Wait a second. Wait a minute. Real quick. Can we get a hypers in chat at Crosslight for how incredible this pie is? Crosslight just made God pie, and I'm loving it. Can we get some hypers at Crosslight? Because thank Crosslight. 
see all this? This is what you've made possible, Crosslight. Your food sustains me so I can stream comfortably and give all of these wonderful folks a good show. You do that, so thank you. Look at all those hypers all over the place. Beautiful frogs, beautiful. Aw, thank you, Crosslight. Mwah. Much love to you. Thank you for the food. It's delicious and I feel amazing. Based pie, it's amazing. It tastes so savory and cheesy and good and creamy. Um, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of good beef stroganoff. It's really fucking good. Yeah, I'm happy to hear that, Cottage Core Lefty. You'll be able to snooze comfortably after this great stream. Yeah. All right, let's get back into it. All right, everyone. Pack up the hypers. Let's get back to it. Let's get back to it. Let's pack up the hypers for now. Put those pepes away. Put them away. Let's get back. <sighs> give it a rest and like i can like it the the offense builds up you know but um there are some people in this tweet who are acting as though the presence of this tweet on the internet is like harmful to trans people so let me be really super duper clear okay objectively nobody who wasn't transphobic was made transphobic by this tweet this tweet isn't like hurting the world okay but that's not the only form of harm. I agree. I agree with Vosh's analysis. Um, I agree with Vosh's analysis that no, I, I do agree. I do agree that, oh, thank you so much, Rain Time. I really appreciate that. I'll do my best to continue being your favorite streamer. That's my goal. Um, to be fair, while I agree that this, this joke didn't make anybody um transphobic that's not the only form of harm that a joke can do right we talked about this earlier that's not the only um type of harm that a joke could do just a small critique there just saying there are other types it's just kind of like oh swag lizard i'm happy you discovered this channel too don't forget somebody help somebody tell swag lizard how to get to the rules channel so no more white name. A lame dad joke that I guess something rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. True. Um, and did. I know there are plenty of trans people who wouldn't find this offensive because as a person who presides over a community with a lot of trans people in it, I know a lot of you people are totally fine with it. Which I think this is more indicative not of whether you're trans or cis, but what communities you grow up in. I think that Vosh is correct about this. Oh, good night, ouchie Zapgun. Have a great night. I think Vosh is correct about this. As another person with a predominantly, um, as a predominantly trans community, I think Vosh is correct. And I appreciate that he said this because it is true. Trans people aren't some screaming, overreacting crowd of people that just get mad at everything. So I'm really glad that he said that. I'm really glad that he said that part, seriously, because I know, and it reminds me that Vosh knows that trans people are tough as nails, and we're also not a monolith. Trans people are people just like anybody else. Some people are going to get bothered, others are not. Okay, true, silent. Then everybody goes, then the guns come out. Why are you so mad, Lilith? Lilith, why are you mad? What are you mad about? Lilith, what are you mad about? Lilith, what the fuck? What are you mad about? Oh, are you are you joking? Hard as nails, hard as fuck. I'm reeing. Oh my god, this is so good. I'm actually like losing it. This is so fucking good. My favorite Pokemon starter of all time. Ooh, that's a tough one. Hmm. Listen. Um. Fuck, I always forget the name of my favorite one. The, um. The green. The little green thing. Chikorita. 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 I love Chikorita. Chikorita is so fucking cute. So unbelievably cute. I had a Chikorita in the first Pokemon game that I ever got. Hey, see you later, Zamp. 
I just lost the left? No way. Chikorita is so fucking pog. Chikorita is so cute and, and little, yeah, it has like a little, little nub head and little tiny nub hands. That was in the first game. Yoda is back from her walk. Believe it or not, Yoda is a girl. I know, named after a boy character, but a girl. Chikorita is so cute. Look at that. Welcome to the blue gang. Po a Pokemon is very fun. Femme Yoda. True. No, you're good. You don't need to be, you don't need to say sorry. You're all good. Dogs are even harder. Dogs don't have any concept of gender themselves. They really don't, as far as we can tell. Imagine the freedom. Yoda can be whatever she wants to be. No pressure whatsoever. Femboy Yoda. <laughs> True! Yoda could be a femboy. Mm-hmm. I have. That's really cool. How do you know Yoda ain't trans? I don't. But what I was saying is that I think that dogs have, like... They have, like, um... They don't really have a concept of gender in the same way do we, way we do. So they just live however they want. They just live however the fuck they want. Within their power. They don't ever have to worry about it. They don't even have to experience it. Most of the time. Yeah, they're mostly non-binary to be completely honest. It's kind of cool. Yeah, they just vibe. And I bet that like if they were, you know, because they don't even really care about dressing up or anything like that. They don't care about all that shit. They're just having fun. They just want to have fun and snug and be great. Pokemon's pretty dope. I agree. Yeah, basically. Yeah, that's basically a Gambino. I don't know. Dogs live the abolished gender world we should seek to strive for. True! True! There's an intersex dog on TikTok and they get so much hate even though it's literally a dog. What the fuck? That's so weird. All right. Oh yeah, true Tech Debt. Thank you. Don't forget about OK Buddy Mama which was made by Tech Debt. Now, I have an OK Buddy Mama before I have an official dis official Reddit. I should get an official Reddit. Anyway, I love dogs. Let's get back to this. Let's get back to talking about Vosh. Because here's my hot ass take, okay? 98% of the people getting offended through here are cis. Guarantee okay. you. I'd bet my fucking life on it. I'd hold a fucking knife to my wrist or my throat and bet on it, okay? I'd bet to the devil. You don't know that. You don't know that. And don't invalidate. But, I mean, to be honest, statistically probably true. Probably true. Here's the deal. Um, we'll talk about the Reddit soon. Yeah, that's why he bets. I know. A lot of these people are cis. Most of these people are cis, okay? Which means Probably we're in an unfortunate position of presuming offense, which I generally think is a really, really bad look, um, both optically, like to the outside, and also amongst ourselves. Um, yeah. Not that there's anything wrong, by the way, with being cis and getting offended at transphobia, but like... This feels like an edge case to me, and the edge case feels, like, kind of meaningless to me, because this isn't a transphobic joke. Okay. At all. Nothing about this joke is transphobic. It's not even, yeah, it's not even edgy. Like, even slightly. Head pass. In fact, you could actually pass, argue pass, pass. it's an anti-transphobic joke. Because the indication here is that if somebody says they're beginning transition, that you would support them regardless of their political okay. affiliation. Nothing about this joke implies harm to trans people. But there were people in the comment section saying that this is the attack helicopter joke, which... No. We debunked that one, right? We called that one out. We said we, we knew this one wasn't. So our investigation team, our crack investigation team already proved that that was not the case. Oh, wait, I got to change this. Wait, I got to change the, the title of the stream. I forgot to change the title of the stream. How could I have been so foolish? Drama. Oops. Bam. Now it's good. Drama Mama Investigation. Philosophy Tube and Vosh. Bam. Done.
I probably should, Gambino. But the thing is, sometimes stuff comes up. Yeah, pro streamer, I know. Pro streamer. I am definitely not a pro streamer. Oh my god. That's so sweet, Cottagecore Lefty. Oh my god, that's so sweet. What are you going to get me to laugh with? What are you going to get me to laugh with? I, did, I might have missed it. Shen Bapiro, you'll get me one day. You'll get me. Oh no, did he lose a thousand bucks? Did he lose a thousand bucks? Oof. I'll explain it. Let's no. Go. The attack helicopter joke is when you insinuate that being non-binary or being trans is dumb because it means anyone can identify as anything and now you're identifying as an attack helicopter dropping, dropping bombs on people, whatever. So we the joke be, yeah. there is That's that true, the Fem idea Punk. of identifying as anything other than the gender you were assigned at birth is cringe. That's the attack helicopter joke. Oh my god, That is Shoe. not this joke. That was 100. At all. You know? No, I don't want to be the new Vosh. I want to be the demon Th mom. That's just not what this joke is. Listen, it's everybody, I want to coexist it's in just... a world with Vosh. I like Vosh. I watch Vosh's content. What are you talking about? I'm the me. I'm the me. You. This is the cool thing. Ready? Ready for the cool thing, all you Vosh fans? Now you have a Vosh and a Demon Mama in your life. Whoa! I don't need to be the new Vosh, because you can have both. Holy shit! Whoa! What? Wait, what? What? You can have fucking both? That's like having cake and soda. It's amazing. Except healthier. Amazing. Different people. It's incredible. I will not become Vosh. I will become de super demon mama. You got it. You all get this. This is the treats we make for you. That's the cool thing. And you have Roserist and Xander and Lance. You've got fucking Conyer. You got Hyena. You've got fucking, oh my God, who else is out there? Chud Logic. You've got fucking Prime Kai's. You've got Dylan Burns. So many fucking amazing creators. You got Riley Grace Roshong. You've got uh, denims. You've got chew on head. You got so many fucking people. It's incredible. It's amazing. It's so fucking hype. It makes me hype because it's more stuff for me to watch too. Jack Saint, all of it. So much stuff. A actual Jake. I don't know much about Chris Raygun, but hey, if you like Chris Raygun, cool. Used and abused him. <laughs> That's all right, Rekka. Don't forget, Rekka. Don't forget to visit the rules channel and press the imp button so you can see all the other channels. Hannah Reloaded. Yeah, how could I forget Hannah Reloaded? Actual Jake is based. I like Actual Jake a lot, and I really like Hannah Reloaded. Holy, holy shit. Gee, Bill, how come your mama lets you have an infinite number of streamers, as many as you could possibly enjoy? Because that's leftism, baby. Let's get back to it. I don't know. <laughs> Look, I, 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 I mean, I don't know. Like... Again, I recognize that the people in my community are going to be predisposed towards not being offended about stuff like this because I'm fairly edgy, which means that a lot of you guys are also going to be fairly edgy. And I know that I'm explaining the joke here and that makes it all bad and ruined and stuff like that. But, you know, I have to feel a little bit bad for, for Ollie here. Wait, hold on. Vosh, I think some people interpreted as Trump is a bigot and I think it would be a fitting punishment for him to be trans, which I don't think is what Ollie intended. Okay, so here's my response to that. If anybody thinks that the joke here is Trump is a bigot and it would be a fitting punishment for him to be trans, they're insane. Listen, Soft Heather, not a bad use. Just do it responsibly. Supporting us makes it possible for us to keep making content. Seriously. Seriously. That is an unhinged interpretation of this tweet. You're in another world. Fucking Stretch Armstrong over here reaching around the fucking world. Yeah, well, I feel like that might be projection. And by the way, that is something that you see a lot in communities of marginalized people. People getting offended at stuff that really isn't offensive because they're projecting self-hatred onto what they're um onto what they're looking at. You guys mm. What? What no mm. No, uh, no, uh, no. 
That's that's a stretch arm. That right there is a stretch arm Armstrong take. That's a stretch Armstrong take. Personally, I, I yes, but that's very different. Table knife. The, the table knife. The conflict there is very different. The conflict there is very different. We'll talk about it. I don't agree with this take. I don't agree with this one. This is the one that I've disagreed with the most. Yo, that's awesome, Zamp. I really appreciate that. Holy fuck, that's high praise. Thank you, Zamp. Really appreciate that. We can replay this. Let's try again. Let's listen again. Here we go. Yeah, I feel like that might be projection. And by the way, that is something that you see a lot in communities of marginalized people. People getting offended at stuff that really isn't offensive because they're projecting self-hatred onto what they're um onto what they're looking at. Okay. First off, this statement is pretty invalidating towards the opinions of marginalized people in general. I don't agree. I I don't agree with this analysis. I don't think that this is a I don't think this is a good take personally. internalized transphobia maybe but that's not like i agree listen i did a whole take i did an entire video All, my 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 oldest fans will remember when i did a video about contrapoints about the contrapoints drama remember that does anybody remember that who here remembers that it's probably a long time ago some of you might not have even been here it was quite a while ago it's up on my channel um called um twitter is hell but we don't or what is it? Yeah, Twitter is hell, but we don't have to make it that way or something along those lines. Some of you will remember that. Um, oh, table knife. Kanye didn't stream today, so you get my sub hypers. Hey, thank you so much, table knife. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's very generous of you. Um, I talked about how I do think that internalized transphobia can come into play when we're talking about openly trans creators we'll talk about this more after but i don't think that that applies to what vosh is saying here i don't think that vosh is correct on this particular point i just, I just don't that's all yeah what he's saying what he's saying seems like a problem with a very small group of people in a given marginalized community. Yeah, I would say that that, that would be a, a safer a safer statement, Lilith. How do I like the shepherd's pie? It's fucking incredible. This mushroom pie is fucking amazing. Genuinely amazing. I love it. You guys have seen that happen before, right? Let's you know see what, what I mean. Bosch has to say. It's kind of like um have you ever had like an insecure girlfriend or boyfriend, whatever? Have you ever had like an insecure girlfriend who will ask you questions about like um, uh, her appearance or like uh, how she's dressed and you'll answer honestly, but you know she's trying to bait you into saying something unflattering so they can be offended by it? I'm saying, I'm saying girlfriend because I've had more girlfriends than boyfriends. Like that's just my experience, but... Um, mm. Nope. Okay. Well, it's it's a thing that happens. Um, mm. Whatever the case is, just I don't know. I feel honestly, I feel like the real victim here is. Okay, is, I'm glad is, he decided to move. Ollie, in. just because Ollie is such an orthodox progressive, you know what I mean? I'm edgy. I get canceled all the time. Whatever, you know. But Ollie is like super duper on point with being kind and considerate. There were people in the in the responses to this tweet who said they were yeah, done with silent. Ollie. Because in Ollie's most recent video, a character that he was playing as said retard, or retarded, I think. Which, if you're at a position where you're willing to completely disavow leftist content creators, because in a criticism of bigotry, they play a character who says retarded... I mean, you're kind of a cancel culture, woke, scold, over offended, sensitivity, baby. Uh... Okay. I agree with this take. This part I agree with. I agree with this part. I do agree that if you can't distinguish between parodying a character and otherwise, you're probably just hurting yourself. That's it. This is fine. Yeah, you could. Yeah, I, I, but I'm glad that he decided to move up on it. To be fair... His chat said no, and then he moved on. So maybe he was just explaining it badly. Maybe it came off badly. That was a very short segment. He did 30 seconds on that. 
and then he moved on to a take I do agree with. Vosh is 26. Vosh is younger than me, believe it or not. Yeah, I know. I'm older than Vosh. Vosh is 26, if I remember correctly. It should be like calling a movie about slavery racist. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I agree, Gay Fesh. Yeah, he's older than you, Fawn. Yeah, it's because of the beard. The beard adds age. It adds, yeah. But the thing is, while I agree that Vosh's previous take was not so great, he also only stuck on it for 30 seconds, and when his audience said that that didn't make sense, he went and talked about it more. Okay. That's fair, Flair. Mob, aren't you, right? I mean, that's really dumb. Um, I, I think we really need to grow past these people because what you find is that much like neo-Nazis online, the people who get sensitive like this or like this easily are usually a relatively small group of like typically young people true. who think the best thing true. they can do to make a difference is hyper purity check everybody else. Also true. But, like they're a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of it's the okay online It's okay to be baby left. in this chat. We will protect so, you. They're very vocal, but they're not even close to a majority. And I think it's important to not humor them. Um, you don't want to give them a space in your community because they are a mm. really toxic influence. I'm not saying everybody who was offended by this tweet is a toxic influence, okay. by the way. I don't believe Good that. Good save. If you Good get save. I'll say it. If you get offended easily, you're valid, Okay. Whatever. We're hey. all living life, okay? There you That's go. Fine. There you go, Nothing Vosh. wrong with that. Do whatever you want. But um, if you're using this as some sort of leverage or attack against an unambiguously, extremely progressive person, like, if you're actually using this as some sort of wedge... to drive in the community, I don't know. I think that's really, really dumb. I think that's extremely dumb. Okay. Let's um, cheer him up. Good yeah, save. Yeah, nobody's Vosh. woken up. Well, whatever. The um, can you can we be oh. listen? This is my personal growth. As far as why some of the Discord comments not transparent, um, it's because the chroma key doesn't catch the response responses, and it also helps me see those ones. See Vosh letting his hair down. Yeah, I think Vosh looks good with his hair down. Yeah, I do. Okay. Um, a year and a half ago, talking about this exact issue. Oh boy, I'd be mad, okay? You people saw my old streams, didn't you? Nowadays, yep. calm True. and cool. Look you at know that. why? By the Good job, Vosh. Honestly, let me take a minute. I've been a little critical of Vosh, but now I'm going to be honest. That is true. Vosh, good job. I'm serious. As one of your fans, one somebody who really loves your content and really thinks you're an awesome person in general, I will say you have grown a lot on the trans thing. And not that you were ever, like, super transphobic, but some of those streams got you real mad and you made some really dumb words. You said some really dumb shit in response to that. And it's not that I don't like you being mad. I just don't like it when you're mad at trans people, because that sucks. And I'm glad that you've realized that a couple of annoying people on Twitter don't, uh, don't deserve you blowing out at the trans community in general. There you go. Good job, Vosh. Seriously. I'm dead serious. I know that. I hope that doesn't come across. I know that there's probably no chance you'll ever watch this video. But if you do, I just want you to know that I appreciate that a lot. As somebody who's watched so much of your content and really appreciates your stream. Um, and really appreciates the fact that you fight for trans people a lot. I appreciate that you don't do that shit anymore. Yeah. Um, Transmed? Yeah, I don't think I, I think I think he kind of edged on certain transmed things, but not particularly hard. I never remember him saying that that hard. Maybe he's lurking. It's very possible. It's certainly possible. But I think he's probably playing video games or something. Anyway, let's get back to it. Why? Do you have any idea why I got? I so agree, much Wall calmer? Panel. Well, part of it's because I got larger, um, uh, uh, and better at doing this, and you know. Uh, but a lot of it is also because I stopped feeling as though that was a community I was responsible for appealing to. And after doing that, I felt a lot better. I no longer felt like I had to tailor my optics or my language to appeal to a group of people who are, though not good for the left, very much a part of the left. And therefore, I don't need to worry about them. 
For what purpose is there in leftist outreach if all you're doing is reaching out to people who are already on the left, you know? Like, what, what are we doing there? Um, anyway, I feel I feel bad for Ollie here because <laughs> I know exactly flare. how this went for Ollie, okay? Are you ready for it? This is how it went for Ollie, okay? Um, Ollie saw this New York Post tweet, which was three days old when he retweeted it. So I don't know if somebody else had retweeted it or something. Something spurred this, but um, Ollie retweeted it with what he thought was a harmless little joke uh, that, again, was in no way, this is not in any way, shape, or form like derogatory towards trans people. Um, and then Ollie left um, the computer to go, what do British people do? I don't know, to, to go uh, uh, chase a, 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 a Bobby or T. Yeah, it could be T. Um, what are other British things that I know? Um, go over to India and like beat somebody to death? I have no idea. Whatever the fuck British people do, okay? And then later... Um, Ollie came back to the computer and, um, and, and, and found the reaction. And I imagine felt quite sore about it. But the unfortunate thing is, what are you meant to do if you're Ollie? See, if you delete this oh, tweet, Yoda. some people are suggesting Yoda. He, he do, uh, that's a terrible response. Never, ever, ever listen to commentators tell you, if you're a public oh, yeah, content yeah. creator, Agreed. how to Agreed handle drama. It. Never. Because if you just delete it, most of the people are going to then say, He's trying to cover up the evidence. He fucked up. Yo, oh, did you hear about all this these is a deleted problem. tweet? We talked about this in the last drama stream. We talked about this in the last drama stream. Yeah, Ollie had like a transphobic tweet that he had to delete. Yeah. Oh, you heard about that, right? That time that uh, Ollie went on like that transphobic rant on Twitter and then had to delete. The telephone game goes on and on and on. You're done. If you delete the tweets, you're fucking gone, bro. You can't do that. You can't do it. You cannot do it. You can't delete the tweet. Yeah. I mean, there's some truth to that, unfortunately. It also implies you're wrong, and Ollie's not wrong here, so. And if you do I mean, another no wrong tweet or right, really. where you say, I apologize for the previous tweet, the responses to the, that tweet were only, they're only going to be, why don't you delete the first tweet, which brings you up to the same problem. The only thing that you can do is not acknowledge it at all. That's the secret right there, okay? Wrong. It's wrong, Vosh. Vosh. Not correct. You can use the Twitter code and you can address it somewhere else that's not Twitter. You don't acknowledge it on Twitter. You can acknowledge it elsewhere. Vosh just needs the Twitter code. We'll get him someday. Vosh almost. He doesn't know the code yet. Although he's, I think that his actions have changed. The cum thing, good. Yeah, you just take it out of Twitter. Yeah. I mean, Vosh, Vosh did the right thing. He's not reply, replying on Twitter. But the idea that you can't, um, you can't respond to it is incorrect. You can, you just can't respond on Twitter. You just don't acknowledge it. If, the, if you're... Okay, he did, but he didn't discourse, though. He didn't discourse silent, to be fair. He just said, like, a random one-off comment. Streaming or something, you can be like, oh, yeah, I didn't want people to interpret it that way, but what are you going to do? But it, the more you acknowledge drama like this, the more you dignify yeah, the, the come thing was good. actors the come pledge was good. participating in it, you know? And by the way, and frankly, again, by the way, if there was a fan of Philosophy Tube who saw this tweet and now their, like, appreciation is teetering on the brink, we'll get him. this is not a person we'll that you should the, be addressing anyway, code. because this is not, like, a real fan of your channel. This is not the type of person that you want, like, propagating in your community. So, yeah, just, oh, God. You can't make everybody happy. You cannot make everybody happy. I, I agree. Happy. That was you more can't. funny than the original one. What if you double down on it? Good move or no? No, no, don't double. What, what would what would Ollie even be defending here? Like, yeah. I have the right to make tweets. Yeah, exactly. Vosh is right fault. here. No, no, He's no, no, right no. here. Doubling don't fuck down, you. don't need to double down. No, just just move move by, you know? Think of... um. That's fair, Sally. Think of all of the like all the content creators that we have probably been on have the a different internet approach for like a decade. And that's fine. And think of how much drama I don't think you're like wrong all of them have been through. You know what the most consistently best response is? Anytime any shit like this happens, you just walk through it. Yep. You just walk right, right the fuck through it. You know? Just keep on doing it. Don't ignore it entirely. Like, if it comes up, acknowledge it. But just, just walk through it. Don't obsess. Yeah, hashtag walk away. The real meaning. The real meaning of the phrase. Very true. Very, very true. Okay. All right. I think we've ended... We've we've reached the we've reached the the end of the pipe or as far down the pipe as we can go on this particular drama. So now we have to do the conclusion part, right, everybody? Right? Alright. All in all, Vosh video 
Fine. Vosh's response was fine. I think he had one part, the part with the um, minority thing. Uh, workshop that one a little more, Vosh. I promise you, I can. you can come up with a better take than that. Vosh is fine. He did fine. And in fact, he brought up some good points. I do agree. Vosh is correct in that um, people who are willing to work, get, like, if people are actually willing to, like, unsubscribe from you and never talk to you again over one joke, there's nothing you can do to win that person. You, there's, there's nothing you can do. However, let's be honest. A lot of the people who were responding to the response, and Vosh didn't do this, but a lot of people who were responding to the response were being like trans people what is with all these people getting offended and it's like okay it really isn't that bad it really wasn't that bad yeah there was a lot a lot of people responded but that's what happens when you have a big account and you make a lame joke it's just a fact of reality vosh's take was fine i don't think it was perfect but i think he had a couple of good points and one kind of bad point that i thought was kind of lame and also the fucking, the fucking trans pass thing. But to be fair, that was a chatter and he was just reacting.